Hi guys, welcome to my podcast. My name is Nicole and I am the brains and the beauty behind Yarn Craft by Nicole. Today I am featuring this wonderful make from Violet Loops. This is the Catalina Cardigan. Y'all have seen my progress on this as I was working on it. This is my last pattern test of this year and it's just a wonderful cozy fall cardigan. I've worn it already like a handful of times and it's just just snug and I I think I would definitely make another one of these like I might want to make one even more oversized I might honestly I might want to try it in a heavier weight yarn this is a worsted weight cardigan so it works really well right now but I'm kind of wondering if I need for my last winter in Michigan just a big chunky oversized cardigan I don't know we'll see sometimes those can make me feel oversized <laughs> We'll see how it goes. But um, like I said, this is the Catalina Cardigan from Violet Loops. This pattern is available now. You can get it on Ravelry, and I believe also on Etsy. So if you like this pattern, you should check it out. I added a couple of like extra striping features. There are also some completely gorgeous solid ones. If you are on Instagram, you can search up the hashtag Catalina Cardigan and you can see all the testers beautiful versions couple of people use a variegated yarn. There's a lot of different ways that you could do it. I wanted mine to kind of feel like a varsity jacket. So I added contrasting ribbing colors as well as the inside ribbing. And then like I said, just a little bit of striping here and there. Okay. What do I even want to start with today? Let's start with finished projects because I really only have, well, I have one and then I have kind of two more. So Last week I showed you the Tunisian two-tone scarf that I made for my sister and I liked it so much I made one for myself. I think I showed you this as well last week. It's a black and white Tunisian two-tone. I made a straight scarf and then I blocked it. It's got a little bit of white on the ends and it's it's just it's just what I wanted. It's a little bit preppy. It's a little bit um classic and I'm a big fan of this. I'll probably take some pictures in it over the weekend, maybe with some burgundy lipstick or something like that to just really have a whole mood. And I'm thinking about doing a uh, tutorial for this of just how I did, how, of how I made the scarf and kind of some yardages that you can use for that, as well as like a cowl version. I've got a lot of ideas with this, but this stitch is my, my current obsession because it's just so much fun and just looks snazzy. So like I said, I made my sister one of these. She's actually coming to visit me for my birthday in December. And I made hers out of these colors. And then I made her a Pebble Path cardigan for her birthday this summer. And I have one of those as well. So we're gonna do a lot of twinning pictures. If that sounds like fun. You should check out my Instagram, Yarn Craft by Nicole in December, cause I'm sure that we'll post a lot of pictures. So this one, I literally pulled off the blocking mats today. So just finished this. And then the other things that I have finished are these really cute ornaments. Look at them, they're so cute. I I was really drawn, let me not cover up the whole thing. I was really drawn to these cute, they were actually in the button section, but they, they probably would function better as beads that look like Christmas lights. And I knew that I wanted to to pair them with this particular yarn as a background. And so I was very happy with the way that that came out. And they're very, they're very 3D, but that's really cute. I'm a fan of this one. It's just cute and kind of vintagey. And then I have been stash busting as much as I can recently. And I found this gorgeous blue that I had from when I made, I think it was, yeah, it's when I made Ravenclaw um, baby booties for friends of ours. And I had a lot of this left because baby booties take very little yarn and I am thrilled with the way that this one came out. I might have to make one for myself in this color and just use an assortment of random um, buttons. But I like that one a lot. I've got these two that are done and then there are two more that are done. One that's on like a camel colored background, one that's on a white background and I've got two more that I'm finishing. And then I'll put all six of these on my Etsy store. So those should be up probably Monday or Tuesday of next week. So very happy with those. They're just so cute. So these are the only things that I have finished. And then the other thing that I have started is really, really pretty. It's another stash busting project. And I haven't decided 
what I'm doing with it. If I'm going to keep it, if I'm going to sell it, if I'm going to give it away, I haven't quite decided, but oh my gosh, look at that. Beautiful. So for this, I'm using the tri-color linen stitch where you have three alternating colors that you are using with the linen stitch. So once you get to the end of a row, you just pick up the next color, you come back over, pick up the next color. It's really fun. TL Yarn Crafts has a tutorial on how to do this and it's just super happy and super fun. All of these were already in my stash. I had this left over from a project that I made with all of those squares that kind of look like quilt squares. The Amelia quilt, I believe it was called. So I had this left over from that and then I must have just bought these because they looked fun because I don't have, I didn't have any plans for them. Or actually, no, this one I bought for my brother-in-law's blanket because um, his was the, I don't know if I showed it to you on here, but I posted on my Instagram, but his was the blanket that had the different linen stitch squares for the different uniforms that he would wear at West Point. And so I know that I needed a little bit of this color for the pink and greens that they now wear in the army that look like super, like they look, look super vintage. It looks like Captain America came out and is wearing his old school uniform. They're very, they're very fun. My husband is very sad that they did not come out when he was in the army. And then this one, I think I bought just because it was gorgeous and it is gorgeous. So both of these are basic stitch, which is a line brand, 100% acrylic worsted weight yarn. And I'm trying to see if this one has a fun color. Gold Heather. It's, it's so pretty. And then this one is a Schitt's Creek colorway. Obviously it's a leftover, so I don't have the ball band, but um, there was a bunch of Schitt's Creek colorways that I believe were also Lion brand, but all of these are just so happy together. And I'm just gonna see how far I get with what I've got, but it's really pretty. It's just so very, very fall. So while I was going through all of my stash, trying to figure out what projects I could make with what I have, what are the best uses for some of these yarns. I was trying to figure out what yarns would work well for these ornaments because these are just, they're so cute. And now I have a lot of buttons that I can use up. Um, so I was going through my stash and I found these two. This is left over from my uh, Shiloh cardigan, which is all this color. It's a beautiful kettle dyed yarn from wecrochet.com and it's Hawthorne fingering. It's very, very pretty. And then this is leftover Sorella Tchaikovsky, is the name of the color, I had to think about it. She did a whole like Nutcracker collection last year and I've always loved the Nutcracker and I collect Nutcracker, so I'm like, gotta buy it. And I made a beautiful shawl that I'll show y'all when it's a little bit closer to Christmas that uses this and then like a ceramic color, like almost a new, like almost, and dyed um, that has these really pretty tree motifs on it. So I have this left over and have this left over and I thought, ooh, these would work really well together in some sort of color work hat. So if you have suggestions, and it could be Christmassy, like these lend Christmassy or like tree themed. If you have a favorite color work hat that is crochet, let me know in the comments below because I think this could be really cute. I've got a couple of patterns and a few books that I've bought this year that are like mosaic crochet. There's one that's a two-tone. Nothing is, is quite speaking to me yet that uses a fingering weight yarn, which is what both of these are. So if you have a favorite fingering weight crochet color work pattern, I know that is very specific. Let me know in the comments below because I think that's what this wants to become. The other thing that I've got to show you is something that was a present from another YouTuber, as well as a new project for me that I have not started yet. So um, a fellow YouTuber, Stephanie from Stephanie's Yarn Escapes, um, Stephanie Lansbury, uh, reached out to me. She said that she had written a pattern for a scarf. She would love to send me a copy as well as some yarn to try it. And I was like, sure, why not? And she does a lot of really cool projects. Like she was working on a color work friends blanket recently, and she's always got a lot of different things that she's trying. So if you want to give her a watch, that's Stephanie's Yarn Escape. 
I'll put it in the description below as well. But she sent me a copy of her pattern that she has written this year called Adamas. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's Greek. And it's a diamond shaped scarf. And it looks uh, roughly like the linen stitch. I think she hers is slightly different, or not the linen stitch, the alpine stitch. I think hers is slightly different, but I have never seen a diamond shaped scarf. I've never attempted a diamond shaped scarf, but I am going to be attempting this. And she also sent me the yarn to try it with, which is Yarn Bees 44th Street, which I've seen before in Hobby Lobby, but I've never purchased. It's a really pretty kind of brushed yarn. It says that it's a DK. I would say it probably leans a little bit more sport. It's pretty thin, um, but it is an acrylic and polyamide blend. There are 540 yards to the cake and it's just a little, it's 3.5 ounces. So that is what I will be using to make this scarf. I think that will be really pretty color on me. It's called blush. And yeah, I'll show y'all as I as I tried this something new because I thought that was a lot of fun and very sweet of her to send that to me. And that wraps up. Oh, I forgot to tell you. That doesn't wrap things up. So I have decided on my earthy sweater pattern and I've also decided on the yarn. And I was hoping that it was going to come in by today, but it hasn't quite yet. I found the yarn from Aquarius Make, who I bought from before and she's fantastic. And um, I'm going to use that as well as two, two yarn skeins from my stash and I'm so excited. So I'll show you that next week because the yarn should be in next week, but I'm really pumped about my birthday sweater. I've never made a sweater for my birthday, like something that I'm just going to wear on that day. So I'm really excited about it. And that winds up our delightful chat this week, our delightful yarn chat. And I'm going to leave you with what I can't let go. And what I can't let go of this week is just the plethora of books and podcasts and all of these things that I've been listening to that are, <laughs> are all over the place. Like, well, this is some true crime. I'm, um, I just started there. I was watching God, which I've never read before. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I've got some of my favorite podcasts, like stuff you missed in history crafts. I got a lot going on. But I'm always looking for new books, and y'all have been really good about giving me book recommendations before, specifically audiobooks. I'm also reading physically Warrior Heart um, about Audrey Hepburn, which is, um, so far it's been really good. It talks about her work with uh, UNICEF, and so I'm, I'm excited about that. But if you've got any books or audiobook recommendations, let me know in the comments below, because... I, I think I want to try something that's a little different than what I've been going to over and over again. And with that, I will leave you and I will see you next week. I hope you have a wonderful weekend that you get to relax or do something that you love. And I'll see you right back here next time. Bye, guys.